Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Out, and Henna makes the actual correct decision and recalls. So, yeah. But um, he's Duro. He's level one! He's level one! Okay, the Pulverize is pretty good, but Aftershock, Barrel just gonna trade his life for it, and he might even live! Oh, he's gonna live as well! The perfect dive comes down to take down Duro. Yeah, so I actually think Henna made the right decision, because if you stay there, you're just dying too. And BDD just TP'd mid, so he can't come to help. I think you're just dead, buddy. It is Kasante, but... At level 6 Renekton with Flash, I, I think he's dead. I do agree, level 6 hit here by Perfect, but I don't think it matters as Clear does get stunned up there a little bit. Oh, he's oh, gonna no! go down! Clear taking one too many turret shots. He had Flash as well, he thought he was out of range. That is a criminal error for being And they need win big wins on yeah. the top side of the map. And unfortunately, that kind of turns into just a, a pretty minuscule win. I'd yeah, say. I mean, I think I think perfect. Considering the context leading up to that, the splash, and then here, you know, honestly, he, I feel like it's in that situation he was so close to not getting the final shot. Oh, oh man, look at that damage from the true shot for us. Duro's level four. He doesn't have his flash. He goes down, and man, that's two kills. Dnk Ferex making a move up towards the top side. If you fail with two, bring three. Yeah, perfect. Trying to keep the wave away from the turret, and he's doing a pretty good job of it. Yeah, clear yeah, with three yeah. turret shots again! And now, I mean, missed uh, damage coming on him, but it does not quite matter, as with enough people, they will kill him. That's why they have to bring three, uh, because clear not getting along with the tower is all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, not the best performance there. And now, Raptor is low. This is the thing, though, because they're so low in health, they could be vulnerable. Barrel is making moves. I don't think he'll be there in time. Yeah. So BNK Fearx, pull that player from the top side. It's a kill for closer, which he can be pretty happy with. There's Dove. Can we get him back? <laughs> Do you want to play top lane again for BNK Fearx? I mean, Claire's good, but he's not a top lane Azir player. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This this is the trading pattern. Clear goes in. BDD's like, yep. Thank you. Snack. <laughs> I said it right when he got it. Oh, man. That's why you're the cast, the play by play caster, you know? Yeah, the timing has to be really on point. Yeah. Are they really going to die perfect again? No. Uh, they are TPing in, but now Raptor kind of in an awkward spot. He even takes a turret shot, but the stun is going to miss. It's four people in the top lane. He does avoid the Zyra ult, and now trying to flash away, but an Alistair is there as well. And that'll be the end of Perfect, who's just not having a fun time. They keep saying play safe top, but it's not working as everybody dives from there, and it's a trade of turrets, but the NK Fearx is going to get the first one. I actually think Pivot could have killed Raptor there if he committed the flash early. Feels like he was kind of like, you know, I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, because of Chemtech Soul, um, you can get the Honey Fruit and it gives you a shield, so you can pretend to be Misfortune. Yeah. Even as Ezreal. Why would you spend all that money on a Bloodthirster when you can just pick up Honey Fruit? Look at KT, they're like, yeah, you want a Chemtech trade? Cool story, bro. Wait, yeah. we're going to take mid tier one. And I agree with KT. That is much more valuable than one Chemtech trade. Yep, 100%. How about another turret? Another turret would be good too. I think this is a winning trade for KT. Uh, I mean, I guess it gets, let's BNK Firex stall the game out some more. And now the looking bot. How tanky is BDD now? That's always one interesting. Like, how many stacks has he gotten? I feel like a thing is a lot of the games we've seen recently, it's been like the game has ended really explosively. Like yeah. one team's like it hasn't been like super long games when one team's got a big team fight win. Well, maybe a fight here, trying to engage onto a Leona, never a good idea. The stun comes in and closer has to flash away. The Zyro gets some value here on a barrel who is being chunked out. But the rest of the team from KT is coming in. They're trying to go on a barrel now as closer goes in. The MF ult does so much damage. Down will go the Alistair, but man, this Kasante is just unkillable. As it will be makes up two kills in the fight. Yeah, Byron's up at 15, but neither team really in position to do. Not having 133 health. Yeah, but only by about 133. Yeah, approximately.
Um, now we do have Barrel in a really rough spot. He is Leona, but oh, the double stun coming in, but nobody's here on the side of KT. It's just Barrel making cool plays by himself. Not the first time we've seen that. Nice setup here, though, from the side of BNK PRX, and they're going to start the Baron. Yeah, they should be able to scout this out. Definitely has his ult back as well, so huge value connected here. It's not going that fast. Raptor hasn't committed the ult. They clearly want the fight here. Zero looking for the angle. Uh, that's <laughs> He went backwards. That's not quite the angle. We do have the TP coming in. As now, 4v5, the front line though clear in a rough spot. And Pyoshik's in the pit. It's a flip and it goes to Pyoshik. The MF ult does get some huge value. They're hitting the back line. Death is dead. And yes, KT got the Baron, but what does the fight look like? It's BDD, unkillable in the pit. Nobody's hitting them. They're all hitting Pilshik. As finally, BDD is going to get some attention, but it's too little and it's too late. As KT, they win the fight afterwards as well. And they just, just leave. Straight up flip. Like it's yeah. Sejuani in the pit. The, the flip wasn't standing good. Standing there. Waiting to smite it. Yep, the flip wasn't good. Getting tra trapped in the pit wasn't then good. Try to kill BDD. But yeah, I think also credit to Perfect, because although I said they were chasing the Xante, Perfect did a good job of. Oh, nice little angle here, but now the flank comes in, and again another huge solar flare comes in from Barrel. This guy cannot miss today, as Death somehow finds himself in a really rough spot, but the rest of the team is right there. As with the push, the Baron push coming through from KT, they lose their Ezreal, but in goes closer and immediately dies. Actually, the main carry of the game now is BDD. It's not Death. Death dies and they're like, yeah, we don't need him. Yeah, honestly, Death caught by Yoni ult two fights in a row, ends up dying. Not really doing a good job there, especially because he had Flash for both of them. But it just doesn't matter. BDD on his ear, he's so bulky, he has at least 133 extra health, and he is just <laughs> killing everyone. Yeah, I'd say probably like 150 at this point. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. And he has Rift Maker finish. They TP in, they're not able to end the game actually because they're just busy hitting a tank. Where have we learned this? Barrel's gonna die to the tower. Okay, he's gonna. Uh, oh, the TP coming in. This game is getting wacky. Um, uh, this this TP doesn't actually do anything. The whole team is still there, and he's just dead. So down will go clear as a bonus kill given over to KT. High value to get both the squishy backliners and then Dev here. I think he got caught. Well, yeah, yeah, he got yeah. Caught again without using flash. He got rooted. And flashed after the root. I feel like the root from Zyra. Yeah, I, we got a fight here. A nice dodge this time from Jeff. Does uh, BNK Firax very desperate to try to make this one work in mid lane when you're being pushed in multiple lanes at the same time? I feel like Closer is trying his best, but again, that, that fight, the uh, decision to fight was not very good. And now KT are just going to win the game. Closer tries to flash, but Cassante breaks the game and takes him back yeah, and does not care. And will, uh, oh, oh man, perfect. He's angry, he wants revenge. He says, you died me three times, how dare you? I will come back and say, Fed Cassante, and I will end the game. <laughs> He's six, three, and five <laughs> after that early game. Yeah. Give him another kill. He died three times, and then he got six kills and six assists. <laughs> the game is over, guys. And 176 is the final. Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Here, they might go for the dive, but with barrier and heal and level three, this is risky. Let's see if it works out as they do get the double knockup, but TP is coming in and the flash, they do get the stun, but where's the damage? It's non-existent. Barrel will survive. The flash comes in from closer. They're trying to turn it on to closer as now stun comes in from Pyoshik and yes, they get the kill, but he's going to go down as well. Double kill to the Zeri as immediately Zeri moment is set up here early on in this game. Raptor going to take the third kill away, but Henna very happy with the way that one wins. I don't think this could have gone well. Depth and Barrel have to go in and, and do the dragon, so they can catch up a little bit in terms of that extra XP that the Nila did give. I say a little bit because Hena, again, still not level six, and he's only halfway there. So any little bit will help. Like this might as well min max, especially with how strong Depth's ult is, but also uh, even more importantly. Oh boy. Here we go again. Hello, I've got level six now. Henna has flash though. He's not level six himself and he can't get away from the Neil as the double knockup comes in and this time around with Barrel also on level six. 
They have the tankiness, they have the damage, and Duro, ooh, he's gonna get away. Just barely, as Raptor comes in just to try to escort them out, but this time the dive looks much better. Yeah, this is better for two reasons. Team of KT, so now they're gonna try to take the second dragon as well. We'll see if they can do this. I mean, it is a straight up 4v4, a clear trying to run it in. We got double TPs from both sides. Closer taking a lot of damage, trying to get Piosik down, but he is gonna get the smite, and now we just got a crazy festival here in the Dragon Pit as tons of damage, a huge sweep out of everyone, but Nazeri is untouched. Finally, Perfect gets to that back line, but it's too little and it's too late as Penna just rips them apart alongside a clear, and they absolutely wipe KT. Really good team fight from BNK Firex, and it felt like they knew exactly who they needed to target in that one. Death really not having the impact, and KT's tanks just cannot clean up Penna. Going basically untouched there. Being in the middle, powered Qs and Dominus. Yep. And so the B1 Renekton must have been a good pick. <laughs> Got value in the last fight. Now KT trying to make a play here on this one as uh, BNK PRX, they say, this is our objective. You guys can't really fight us here. But now trying to engage onto the Renekton. Clear does have Dominus still as they push into the banana brush. And now the engage comes out and Death is going to survive. He only hits the buy and immediately dies. He does nothing in the fight. The sweep comes in, hits three though, but the damage is not quite there. And the Zeri once again is getting some done, but they don't commit as everybody turns around to deal with Perfect. I feel like they had an angle on the other side of the fight, but instead they're just going to try to kill Perfect here as they should eventually be able to, right? He is Cassante, but no, he will go down and that kill will be given a Raptor. And I'm gonna be honest, the difference between- oh, let's, Here comes the drift. Let's see how Raptor does it. Should be pretty simple. And he's gonna knock it straight into this turret and take that one down. Very nicely done, Raptor. Uh, and actually, Perfect TP's out. How about another one? Nobody's here because Perfect TP'd out. And a third charge out of the Rift Herald. The amount of value they're getting into you know, turrets this game is insane. Recently, we've seen so many zero charge Heralds where it just gets denied. Mega value there from BNK Fear X. Oh, trying to go for an engage now. Look at this. Depth, he is able to go and uh, die. Yeah, everybody just dives in onto him. Henna's tanking the turret. He does not care. Nothing that Barrel can do. And the push comes in as they pick up more. They have six grubs as well. BNK Fear X, it's almost like they want to end the game now. Obviously, they can't, but they're certainly posturing to push and then get the drink. Yeah, and I feel like BNK Fear X, I don't think you can draft a better composition for them. They just seem to be all on the same page. They know what the win con is. They know what they have to do. Kill death. And they make it look so easy, but they're just layering everything really well. Whenever they're disengaged, they have another source of engage to follow through. And Barrel is just the icing on the cake. Yeah. Also, just, uh, BNK Fear X with double black lever into all these tanky targets. Actually, you can get a fair bit of value from the armor shred. Obviously, most people aren't building Black Cleaver, specifically the armor shred, they're building for the stats, but will help oh? Henna's damage. I mean, if they kill Henna, there is an angle, but that engage was with nobody except Kyoshik. Barrel is just gonna die. <laughs> nice try, I guess. But now, the rest of the comp comes in, and they have engaged for days, for millennia. They just chased them down. And you see BDD, big shuffle. He's got his turret, but he just gets flashed on. The wallets are just so heavy that it doesn't matter what BDD does. He is just going to get pummeled and taken down. And at least for KT's sake, I guess the game might not end or might not last very long. Yeah, uh, this one looks like he's just done. Kyoshik going to have his recall interrupted. They're just going to end here. Being in a game. Rex. Deserved win. You know, composition that works for them. They played it perfectly, and KT just rumbles. KT Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends. Items and sets up, and he starts, like, poking people out. And so, oh, clear, good wow. flash. Yeah, clear is in a bit of trouble, though, as Pilsik has his flash. Just flashes on in. It's as easy as that. Clear is in so much trouble. And the sun comes in, and the kill will go to perfect. Nice setup from him to get clear low and to force the flash, and then Piyoshi comes in for the- Pulls it off. How right. come Alistair doesn't do that? Uh, I don't know. Well, level six hit here, and that's actually a lot of damage into Perfect, but it was a bait! Barrel comes in! He's exhaust Braum! They land the stun and clear! Can't do anything! Oh, he gets the kill! Never mind! As the Q 
Ryu comes in at the very last moment. Perfect, thought it was done, and so did I. But Clear had different ideas. Super well played from Clear, though. I was about to say it's a disaster. Oh, more of a fight coming in. Yeah, we're going to be fighting over the grubs as Slow comes down. Winner's bite here on our Raptor, but now they're just going to try to peel the layers. But BDD goes in, only hits Closer, who does not have the Spirit Rush. And I think that means that they're not going to be doing too much here as Duro. Oh, flash. my goodness. I was like, Duro's just going to save his Flash. He knows he's dead. And then last second, he's like, it's not going to be that here in game three. Yeah, and KT with a... Pretty solid goal lead across the This is the, the second day of us casting together in a row. Yep, and looks like we're about to get some action. Clear's like, I'm going to recall so I can TP in. Yeah. And uh, the dragon's already gone. So if this fight actually breaks out, we might get it. And yeah, they're just going to dive into the back line. It's death. Well, the old in so much trouble. The flank from Clear is immaculate. And now perfect is going to hit Meganar, but it just doesn't matter. He doesn't have Flash, and everybody on the side of KT is routed. Look at BDD. He wasn't able to help out the team at all. He got one kill and left, and now Pioshik is just dead. It's another huge team fight here for BNK Fear X around the Dragon. And you know, we talked a little bit about the Ari earlier pairing with the Vi. Vi obviously very hard in the meta, but Ari not seen as much. This feels like being KFRX's meta. This feels like what they should be playing. <laughs> Hunker down. I got to make sure I'm ready to go when they try to dive me. Yeah. Because next team Mask, fight. There's a lot of tanks on the side of KT. Um, and the exhaust is a big factor. Go shake, but really, you're not really waiting for power spikes on your Sejuani. So I think they just start to try and make things happen now yeah. and see if they can find an angle. Well, they're going to engage on a Braum here, and Barrel is a little bit in a risky spot. He's just going to die immediately. I take back what I said earlier. I guess you can just engage on the Braum. Raptor did take a lot of damage, but it's a kill. Leona, and, and as much as the shield can prevent a lot of damage, can block it. Well, he's about to hit Meganar here, and he's under the turret. Doesn't seem like Fear X care at all, as a lot of damage will go into this Meganar. Another Q comes in, but now the TP, this time from BDD. Trying to extend this fight. Here comes Pioshik. He's going to throw it into Duro as they're trying to disengage, but a big sweep on the closer as he takes a bunch of damage. But now the Kenny gets to that back line. Closer will get down, but the exhaust comes down on that clear, and the fight is very broken up. Clear, very low, but he will not go down. And this Ari is still alive. Henna will attack that front line, and BNK Fear X will win the fight. And Henna chins up just in time. Death going aggressive. Is that enough? Did he get them low enough that they won't Baron? I think like so. you really want to contest it. And it's so scary right now. I think it's probably just going to be gone by the time they find clear. Okay, well, yeah, Barrel will find him. And Pioshik, meanwhile, is trying to get in the pit. So now Slicey Maelstrom clear is very killing them. But he will go down. He was alone. And it is a shutdown that's given a death. But BNK Phyrex got Hextech Soul Close is, is almost zero. You don't have a Vi, you don't have a Nautilus, you can't just press R and go. The amount of gauge they have, if they get Hextech Soul, no chance. Like, you, you're not going to be able to war. Oh, they're going in. Raptor, okay, you got the Grom. And the rest of the team is coming over. The ult is here on the Braum once again. Has nowhere to go for Beryl. He will go down. As we see, True Shot Barrage hit everybody. Didn't even do that much damage. Meanwhile, we got Clear versus BDD. More like Clear running away from BDD, who has hit level 16. Yeah. Hena has Blood there, so he can just heal off the Dragon. Yeah. And Clear is looking for the angle. The TP to the ward is there. They just want to call the Drake. He's it, going, he's going, he's going. Yeah, they're just going to try to flip it, and it does go to Pioshik, but let's take a look at the fight. Clear is not here. He goes in behind and closer so low, but BDD, he can't get the job done. And look at the rest of the team just being shredded by the Zeri Hena getting on top of everybody, and the fight is so broken that Fear X, B and K Fear X are just so far ahead of this one. Death trying to kite away as, nope, no TP for you. And Deft eventually will be taken down as well. Perfect trying everything in his power to take something to get away. And oh, he's going to be denied once again. It's an ace. And BNK Phyrex will try to push to end. They should be able to get this with both carries up with two grubs as well. With a little bit of help from that, they should just be able to end here. You see the rest of the team coming in. And BNK Phyrex, they were ahead in this game. And they find the winning angle in the team fight. Don't get the soul. They should have the damage to close this out. Barrel's gonna try and block. They should get this. Yeah. I think it's just over. The turrets are falling like pieces of paper, and the Nexus will as well. And B and K Fear X, they get another 
upset victory you can call it. These were the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.